All right, so one more problem here related to limits, and this is actually going to have a little bit to do with continuity. So we want to figure out what value of A is this piecewise function continuous on the entire real line. So we've got the piecewise function x squared plus 3 if x is less than 1, and then we have AX plus 6 if x is greater than or equal to 1. So we've seen this result that polynomial functions are continuous on their domain x squared plus 3 is a polynomial. Whatever value we pick for a, when we multiply that by x plus 6, that's going to be continuous as well. So definitely it's continuous for everything less than 1 and everything greater than 1. Again, where they kind of break at this x coordinate of 1, they may or may not be continuous depending on the value of a. But we're trying to again pick that value of a so that it does happen. So again, we're going to use our definition. What we want to occur is we want the limit as x approaches 1 of the function. We want that to equal f of 1. Okay. Well, for the limit to exist, the limit as x approaches 1 from the left, that's going to have to equal the limit as x approaches 1 from the right. So my little sideways equal sign there. Um, well, if x is approaching 1 from the left, we're using values of x smaller than 1, so we would be using the function x squared plus 3. When we do the limit as x approaches 1 from the right, well, now we're taking x coordinates larger than 1, so we would use the function ax plus 6. Well, for the first one, if we plug in x equals 1, we'll get 1 squared plus 3, or we'll get the value 4. Um, if we plug 1 into the second expression, again we're plugging it in for x, we'll get a times 1 plus 6, or we'll just be left with a plus 6. But again, for the limit to exist, the left-hand limit has to equal the right-hand limit. So that would tell us that that means that 4 would have to equal, well, a plus 6. And well, we can just subtract 6 from both sides, and that would give us negative 2 as our value for a. So in this case, we've made the limit um, equal, okay? because if we use the a value of negative 2, the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit will both equal 4, and um, so the limit exists. And notice, you know, now if you plug in the x-coordinate of 1, again, we've now figured out that this is the function. We should be using negative 2x plus 6. Notice if you plug 1 into that, again, we'll just get negative 2 plus 6, which again will give us the value 4 that we want. So it says if we make a equal to negative 2, the limits will exist. Um, and in a sense, by default for this particular function, it'll also give you the correct value. So really kind of the, uh, you know, I think uh, in a sense to do the problem, you just need to set the left-hand limit equal to the right-hand limit and solve it.